Hey guys, it's Candace from Soul Talk here to give you another installment of the 6x30 challenge that I've set for myself. I hope it's not too loud. I just realized there's a lot of trucks around here today. But anyway, so what we're headed to do today is we're going to go to one of my favorite cafes from when I used to live in Seoul. Uh, it's a cafe called Mouse Rabbit that was um, founded, I guess, by one of the members of Super Junior, Ye Sung, and his brother. And so it, you know, started out being really cool for me because of the novelty of it being made by a Super Junior member, but it's actually a really chill cafe. Um, it's right in the middle of Kongguk, which is the neighborhood that <laughs> you guys already know is one of my favorites. So I thought that I would just go there, um, show you guys what it's like, show you why I like it, and if there's time, <laughs> give you a little bit more information about what I used to do there. I might do some studying. So, let's go. Hey guys, so I realized that I'm still incredibly shy to be filming myself in public and talking to a camera in public, so I figured that a voiceover was probably the best way to go with this. So Mouse Rabbit Cafe is only maybe about a five minute walk away from the station. It's really not too bad. Like I said, I used to come here so much when it first opened in 2012 and I spent a lot of time here with my girlfriend. and. You know, we come here after going to concerts or going to musicals. It was kind of just our hangout spot. It was also where I'd come to study or read if I had any free time or work to do for my classes. And I don't know, it was just really comfortable. When I first started coming, it was really geared more towards fangirl culture. As you can see, there's plenty of things that they have available for you to buy if you are a fan of uh, Ye Sung or Super Junior, but they also have lots of different things for you to eat, beautiful artwork on the wall. Um, it's like a whole vibe that he has going on now. I am impressed with the fact that it's a very sleek and simple cafe. There's not a lot going on. The music can be a little bit loud sometimes, but for the most part, it, it has a lot of interesting seating arrangements. There are three floors. So I'm at the top floor doing a little bit of studying, as you can see. There's a basement floor that's a little bit more of like a chill vibe where you can go in and sit in these little cubbies or booths that they have um, on the floor, which sounds a little bit strange, but it's actually quite cozy, especially in the winter time when the floor heating is on. Then they have the first floor, I guess, which is where you would order and where I came in initially. But then they have the second floor, which is where I went to study. There's also an outside seating, but it was a little too hot that day, so I decided to stay in with my Americano and just do a little bit of teacher work. Basically, Mouse Rabbit is just one of my happy places, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me with these videos. I'm gonna try my best to make them as amazing and entertaining and fun as possible. So please stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.